Welcome learners, I am Dr. Smriti Sikha Sotri from Krishnakanto Handy State Open University. Today uh, we are going to discuss Unit 7 of Marketing Management Program of BBA second semester. So the name of the unit is Managing Marketing Channels. First we will go to the outline of this presentation. So after going through this video lecture, you will be able to discuss the concept of marketing channel. Then we will explain uh, different types of marketing channels and their importance. And then we will discuss uh, how we can identify the characteristics of different types of intermediaries. And at the end of this uh, video lecture, we will discuss the importance of marketing channels. So let us start one by one. So uh, as I have already said in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about marketing channels. The decision on marketing channels have a vital bearing on the marketing performance of a firm. So, okay, for example, pricing uh, is related to type of channel adopted by a firm, whether the firm uh, sells their product directly or whether like they adopt different intermediaries for their uh, marketing channels. Similarly, like decisions on sales force, like what will, what will be the size of the sales force, then uh, what will be the types of sales force all these things depends on our marketing channel the channel normally sets the pattern for the salesman's operations the channel decisions usually binds the enterprise with long-term commitments so depending on the structure of the channel uh, which we are going to adapt in our marketing strategies so the uh, entire marketing strategy will change so now we will discuss what is uh, the concept of marketing channel. Marketing channels are set of interdependent organizations involved in the process of distribution. Producers normally use a number of marketing intermediaries for taking their products to the ultimate users. Marketing intermediaries bear a variety of names such as sole selling agent, sometimes we call them as marketers, then wholesalers, distributors, stockists, then uh, franchise dealers, retailers, then authorized representatives, brokers, all these are different uh, kinds of intermediaries. So the process of delivering the product to the customer is termed as distribution. Like manufacturer produces their product in a uh, production unit and ultimately the consumer consumes that product. The process through which from the manufacturer to the customers the product moves that uh, that particular channel is known as your channel of distribution. Distribution management consists of two major tasks. One is your physical distribution which I said like movement of goods and the management of marketing channels like through which members this product or service will move. There are different types of uh, marketing channel depending on the type of uh, business we are doing. So in this uh, okay, diagram I have shown four types of marketing channel. First one is like from directly from producer to consumer. Suppose the producer produces the good in that production unit and then okay, directly the, they sell the goods to the consumers. So this one is known as your zero level channel or direct marketing. Nowadays uh, in online marketing we have seen many okay, like um, business uh, marketers they sell their goods directly to the consumers then comes our one tire uh, channel here the producer they produces the goods then they sell it to the retailers and from retailers consumers uh, like purchases the goods then in case of two tire uh, marketing channel the produce from the producer it goes to the wholesalers and then from wholesalers it goes to the retailer and then ultimately from retailers consumer collects the good. Generally for uh, like fast moving consumer goods whatever we use in day to day life all these uh, goods comes under this uh, channel like from producer to wholesaler then from wholesaler to retailer and ultimately from retailer to customers. Then another uh, type is your from producer to it goes to the agent or brokers. Then from agent or brokers it goes to uh, wholesalers, then from wholesalers it goes to retailers and then to consumers. So uh, depending on your type of product, 
all these uh, four okay, types of marketing channel can be used. Now we will discuss the characteristics of different types of intermediaries. So the different types of intermediaries differ significantly in their roles, capabilities, territories, resources or their size of operation. All these things varies. So first we will go to the marketer or sole selling agent. Like a marketer or a sole selling agent is usually a big marketing intermediary with large resources and extensive territory of the operation. He or she normally takes over a major share of the marketing responsibility and functions on behalf of the manufacturer. Then comes our stockist or distributors. So a marketer or sole agent like he or she normally takes over a major share of the marketing responsibility and functions on behalf of the manufacturer. Then comes the stockist distributor or wholesalers. The stockist or distributor operates under the marketer or sole selling agent. And then comes our retailer or dealer. So a retailer sells any product or services to ultimate consumers. The retailer often operates in a small territory or at his specific location and earns higher commission and lesser sales volume compared to higher levels in the channel. He or she does not carry out much of a stock holding and sub-distribution functions. So uh, when we talk about these intermediaries, uh, just uh, always remember first comes our manufacturer then from manufacturer it comes to marketer like marketer or sole selling agent so they uh, takes the product from the manufacturer and they sells to the consumers or sometimes what happens from the uh, marketer or sole selling agent uh, it goes to the wholesalers so okay maybe one marketer or one sole selling agent is there but there are four or five wholesalers are there then uh, from wholesalers again suppose hundred retailers are there and those retailers will uh, purchase the product from the wholesalers. Then comes the importance of marketing channels. Marketing channels play a pivotal role in the successful marketing of products and services. The importance of marketing channels can be understood uh, clearly by analyzing the wide variety of functions performed by them. So what are the uh, functions they perform? So first uh, we will discuss like importance of these marketing channels. Channels provide a distribution efficiency to manufacturers. Marketing channels bring together the um, makers and users in an efficient and economic manner. Marketing intermediaries minimizes the number of contacts the firm has to make to sell its products. So uh, these intermediaries, they take the product from the manufacturer and then uh, they sell it to the customers. So, like they reduces the headache of the manufacturer. Then uh, channels supply products in required assortment. Like marketing channels combine the product and components manufactured by different farms and offer them in the form of assortments that are convenient to final consumers. They also break the bulk of the quantity and meet the small size needs of individual consumers. Suppose there are five manufacturers and they cannot, five cannot go to, okay, like uh, as a customer you cannot go to five okay, manufacturers to purchase a small quantity of products. So what uh, these intermediaries do, they collect pr okay, different products from different manufacturers or different distributors and they assorted it for the consumers and whatever you require you will get easily in your retail outlet. Channel provides salesmanship. Like all these market uh, retailers, this channel member, they promote the product on behalf of the marketer. Uh, like uh, whenever you go to any retail outlet, like uh, your retailer might say, purchase this product, this one has newly come into the market or maybe like this one is good for you. So they, they do this kind of promotional activities on behalf of the marketer. Then channel helps in uh, merchandise the product. The way they display the product, like okay, they it attracts the customers. So it also works as a uh, like okay, your uh, salesman or maybe like they generates awareness for the product on behalf of the marketer. Then channel helps in implementation of price mechanism. Marketing uh, assist in arriving 
the, at the price level that is acceptable to the manufacturer as well as the user. This is very vital for the smooth running of the marketing process. Then channel looks after the physical distribution and financing functions. Like marketing intermediaries also looks after a good part of the physical distribution functions. Like transportation, warehousing, sub-distribution and inventory management. All these things are looking after by the different uh, intermediaries. Then uh, channels act as a change agent and generate demand. In certain cases, marketing channels go far beyond the conventional functions of distribution. For example, marketing uh, intermediaries in the agribusiness often act as change agent among the farmers and generate demand for new products. So they perform a useful role in creating awareness and support services. So uh, here I comes to the end of this video lecture. In this video lecture, uh, we have discussed about marketing channels. Ch uh, like as we know channel is very important for the marketer and it is the uh, system through which product moves from the manufacturer to the ultimate customers. There are different types of channels of distribution used by marketer based on their product and marketing strategies. There may be direct uh, channel or maybe indirect channels. Like the type of channel varies depending on the number of intermediaries. We have uh, discussed different uh, characteristics of these intermediaries and why these intermediaries are important, why these channels are important for the marketers. Hope uh, you enjoyed this video lecture. So here I have put some reference for you and I uh, will meet you again in next video lecture. Thank you.